I think I felt scared for a few years from like 20 to like 26, seven to just be like making skateboard art. And then I came to a point where I didn't want to do art on canvas. I only wanted to do a painting or a collage or anything on the deck because I felt like it didn't look good on square. It brings something different when, you, when you're making art on a skateboard than just something square and flat, I think, because there is already a three-dimensional form to it. It already is like kind of coming at out, out at you. By 2012, I fully was like starting to do like the cardboard collages and just solely sticking to like art on board. I saw this thing the other day was some of these cards I used for a collage. This woman brought in a box of them on Antiques Roadshow. It was worth $3,000. And I was like, all this shit, I'm like, these cards are worth no money. None of this is worth any money. And then the Desert Storm Iraq War Tops trading cards are worth $3,000 for the box. And I fucking blew through a box. Deconstructing a vulcanized van to where you just have the waffle. Deconstructing a Nike SB Dunk to just get the sole. Dude, is so much work. Weighing it down, properly gluing it where I wanted to like have everything. And I used shoe goo for like, you know, as why would I not want to use shoe goo to glue it on here? And I just, all I did was like, you know, router off the edges. So it didn't do anything extravagant with the shape because I wanted to showcase the whole, as much of the soles as I could. These bouquet boards that I made were kind of started on an accident. They all came off of photo shoots, all of it. I didn't pay for any of them. How many crushed cans do you see in a day? Probably half a dozen at least to a dozen cans. But the way that my eyes were picking them up, I was like, wow, there's so many Coke cans. Like this neighborhood's got a ton of Modelo cans. It's really about the beauty and the disgust. What do you find pretty? Some people like the floral, some people like the cans. This is a, somewhat of the collection of VXs that I've done. So it was originally, the camera was Colin Reed's and it was a Japanese uh, VX. So you have your uh, Japanese candy VX 1000. This is filled with wheels, skateboard trucks, tools. There's a Spitfire tool right there. And this one's probably one of the heaviest. It's got like, I think there's two Indies in there. I spend, I feel like I spend about two years to two and a half years in like a body of work. Okay, I'm gonna do like sneaker art and it lasts for like two to three years. And then, oh, I wanna do more electronics art. So then the electronics art will be there for like, it's already been going on for two years. And now I'm like so into metal that now I feel like I'll be doing this for like the next like two and a half years. These were made with, yeah, trucks that I had melted down and then poured into molds and then put the uh, axles into. The metal work that I had delved into in the last like couple months was drawn from what I had seen originally on Antiques Roadshow. So yeah, my influence comes from artists I see on Antiques Roadshow. I have such an urge to create these sculptures right now that I don't care like what it looks like, how it works out. To me, it, I'm still having fun and it's nice to enjoy like this new process. When I wanna jump on to something new in art, it's like lately I'm like, dude, I've always had a terrible heel flip. I wanna get good at heel flips. I wanna like really, even though there's only gonna be one out of 50 that might feel good, it's like just that like trying to get into something new that's gonna be a little bit harder than the last thing that you were doing. After making sculpture that I'm like, oh, I want this. X amount of thousands of dollars for that if I was to sell it and I want that or I'm just gonna give that away or I'll break that. This woman I work with it was like, no, you need to stop worry about selling those things for this money. Have that, but have like small items. And I was like, yeah, I've been really wanting to take all like my first cell phone, the Nintendo controller, like Blackberries, because they were everyone had a Blackberry back in the day, and I was just like, I want to do like make a like an ice cube tray of 
all of these things and we're just vibing back and forth my friend at work and she's like yes because when you do your show people are going to want to walk away with an object <laughs>